You can limit what God wants to do in your life by doubt, negativity, speaking defeat. My business is never going to grow. I'll never meet the right person. I hadn't had a date in years. Have you seen all that I've been through? You are canceling out the prophecy. You may have obstacles that look too big. You don't see how you can accomplish that dream. Feels like you're stuck. You're in captivity, restricted by your environment. God is saying to you what he said to them. I am doing a new thing. I am making rivers in those deserts. I'm turning the barren places into fertile ground. Now get in agreement with God. Yes, Lord, this is for me today. I receive it into my spirit. I'm getting ready for something new. Lord, amaze me with your goodness. Turn this problem around. God, show out in my life. It's significant that this promise is in the present tense. God didn't say, I'm about to do a new thing. One day I'm going to work in your life. Sometime in the future, I'm going to show you my goodness. God said, I am doing a new thing. It's already started. What God has for you is already set in motion. This new thing is already in process. Forget not his faithfulness, but forget the form that it came in. They couldn't get this. So in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1, the writer says, you keep looking for God to look like the law because that's what you were addicted to. See, we get addicted to one form of deliverance, and then grace comes along, and we don't even know what to do with it because it's not what God used to do. you got to move on. Some of you grew up in really religious environments where you know God wasn't happy unless you were depressed, you know. It didn't even count as church unless you had to endure it. You need to move on past that. God is doing a new thing. I mean, lift your hands, lift your heart, be free in his presence. He's doing a new thing. Do you not see it? It will spring forth out of the ground. Do you not perceive it? And what got me about it, JJ? Whatever's next is better. Whatever's next is better. That's what my faith believes when I find myself in a wilderness. See, a wilderness is not a situation where you feel like you're about to die. A wilderness is a situation like these exiles in Babylon wondering, how long, O oh Lord, how long am I going to feel like I'm in a place emotionally that I don't understand? It wasn't the physical surrounding of Babylon that made them weep as they sat by the rivers. It wasn't the lack of prosperity. It was a loss of purpose. How long am I going to wander in this place? When I get into that place, I realize that it's not my job to predict the way that God is going to make. So I don't have to know how if I know who. In the way God used to move, but He says today, I am doing a new thing. I know it doesn't feel like it used to feel, but I'm still faithful. I know it doesn't look like it used to look, but I'm still faithful. I know some things have changed in our country, but I'm still faithful because I am the Lord. I was the Lord. I will. I am. I was. I will be. I make a way. It's what I do. The scripture says, now it springs forth. Spring forth is used when a seed is planted in the ground. You can't see anything happening, but the seed has opened up. It's springing forth even though it may not come visible for some time. There are promotions, healings, breakthroughs, divine connections that have already sprung forth. They're already en route. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not coming. This is where your faith has to kick in. There should be an expectancy. Not looking back. This pandemic is so hard. My back's been hurting. This company did me wrong. I'm in the desert, Joel. That's why I'm discouraged. As long as you're looking back, you're going to miss the new thing. You have to get prepared in your thinking. By faith, I can see the healing that's coming. I can see promotion on its way. I can see my child turning around. I can see myself free from this addiction. Now it springs forth. Not one day. Not in the sweet by and by. Today, God is doing a new thing. Today, God is making rivers in your desert. Today, God is turning your dry places into abundant places. 
If you will stay in faith, you're going to see the new thing. Like God did for the Israelites, He's going to bring you out of captivity. He's going to free you from limitations and negative things that have been passed down in your family line. In this new thing, God is going to break generational curses. Addictions, poverty, depression will no longer hold you back.